everyone. All right, guys. So today we are going to do a, I'll say this is a backpack unboxing. It's going to be up for our camera equipment. The reason why I considered to purchase a backpack for my camera equipment, one, I'm not a professional uh, camera guy. I just pretty much like to point and shoot. Um, every now and then, you know, I'll, I'll shoot a picture, I'll shoot a video, and I'll go into Adobe Premiere, and I'll blend it in, and it looks decent. Um, to, to others, it looks professional, but to me, it looks decent. You know, that's just a way of learning, you know? That's just a way of learning, you know? You gotta try it somewhere, and over time, you just you build up that learning from your things that you need to correct on or things that you need to focus on. Just put it in that simple terms, it's a process. Getting back to the book pack. All right, so guys, so the reason why I considered purchasing a backpack for camera equipment, I don't have that much, but you know, there's a potential for growth, okay? Especially dealing with the fact that you can get so much camera equipment for cheap, for cheap off of eBay, for cheap. And, and, and not just cheap, cheap stuff. I'm talking about some nice professional uh, equipment, you know? Now, they sell little bags that you could put stuff in. First camera, but well, not my first camera, but my second camera. I did have a bag. It was only enough space for the camera. It really wasn't that much space for anything else. The little small bags is just that you always got the potential of something dropping on the bag or you dropping the bag or something running over the bag. It's just like, you gotta keep your eye sight on that bag. Matter of fact, let me go get it for you guys. Let me go get it for you guys. This is the first bag for my camera that I got. And actually my mom, she got it for me. Very thankful that she did that. The thing I do like about it though, is um, it's got a protective shell on it to protect it from, you know, drops, stuff of that nature. So if you can do something like that, you know, you're still covered. Any lens that you have to attach to your camera, this case won't work. But if you have a camera that has a built-in lens, this is going to work perfectly fine. It's, it's, it's nice and durable. Nice and durable. Get it back to the bag, you know, because this is all about getting a bag. Everybody, everybody in 2020, they're all about the bag, right? The reason why I want the book bag is because with my Fuji camera, my Canon camera, I can all put them in a bag. So now my Fuji cam, that's 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 the second camera that I had bought. So my Fuji cam is only 14 megapixels. However, a friend of mine, Ian, he just pretty much uh, kind of school game to me. He was like, look, I know you're new to trying to, you know, learn about photography, but don't get your mind settled on, you know, 20 megapixel, 18 megapixel. It's greater than 14 megapixel because Sony just released a 14 megapixel camera that is much greater than a 20 megapixel camera that can shoot 8K footage. Gotta get that correct, 8K footage, okay? All right, guys. Having a book bag allows me to have more equipment. It allows me to bring more equipment, such as batteries, such as microphones, such as lenses, such as lights, you know, stuff of that nature, because it, it commonly, like with me, when I, whenever I shoot, you know, my footage, I'm trying to do it from my Canon camera, and it's at night. Even at night, I need some light, I need some lenses, I need some batteries, I need a lot, okay? I need a lot. This bag, she ain't gonna do it. All right, guys, we're back again in our furnace room to do another unboxing. So we're gonna take a stab at this. Let's see exactly what we got in the box. What's in the box? Somebody tell me what's in the box. I'll take a hacksaw at this, man. Oh, what's in the box? Somebody tell me. Mm -hmm. This is designed for camera equipment. It is not just a general book bag that you're just stuffing stuff in. Now this bad boy here is designed for it. Again guys, when it comes to starting off as a beginning photographer or just a person that wants to just point and shoot, such as myself, I'm just, I, I consider my, myself as a point and shoot type of guy. Um, because it's like whenever I do my videos or take pictures, it's nothing serious. It's just something that I enjoy. There is a Caden camera book bag. 
This book bag comes in different type of colors. I chose black because no matter what I have on um, when I'm doing my photo shoots, video shoots, black book bag will always blend in and also it won't stand out. Got some nice zippers on here. Definitely not no cheap zipper. is a piece of paper to all the customers that purchase the product gratitude to the customers got a uh, list full of signatures from the craftsmen do something like that because it pretty much gives customers appreciation you know customers love that they don't just want to buy a product and just be like bam there's a product no give the customer some gratitude uh so we got a zipper in the front you can put you know whatever you want to put in here the zipper in the front may be best for like, you know, SD cards or batteries or something, something of that nature. It's a waterproof bag, so, you know, don't be scared. Unless you want to put like papers here. Uh, but this side here is supposed to be like for like a, a laptop. Laptop, iPad. Let me uh, reach for this old iPad here. Nice condition, broken iPad. What you can do is pretty much ipad there or whatever laptops you got you can put them in the front this is very convenient especially for photographers say for instance you're at your customer site shooting videos and pictures and you want to actually put them on a computer such as a macbook or some sort of laptop where you already have your video and photo editing software you can easily take that take your say for instance, your ipad put it in the bag and you know take your camera take the SD card out slap it into your laptop uh, read the pictures read some videos do some editing and show the customer example that's this is absolutely perfect this is where you would place your camera especially if you got your camera on the lens you have your camera here our camera would go here now, this would not be on, of course. Uh, you would take that off just to kind of give you, uh, you know, a basic view. This is exactly how your camera would go. Of course, you would actually have it laid down while you're putting your equipment in. And then you'll zip it up and it'll help keep everything in there nice and tight. You'll have uh, one camera there with the lens on. You also have another pocket where you can take, you know, any secondary camera. Say for instance, you have emergency backup camera, something may happen to primary camera that quickly gain access to your backup camera, do a quick shot of something, or say for instance, you're doing some consultation to somebody to kind of show them something and you don't want to use your primary camera because you don't want to give them that proper high quality photo. You want to give them something basics just in case they may be like, hey, send that to me, you know, and they pretty much try to use that everywhere. Well, and you know how, how it goes when you shoot pictures and people don't pay. So I'm going to just pretty much show you guys a quick video of me just pretty much storing my equipment. Well, honestly, guys, my batteries, they're still charging, so let's take that out. I actually think I'm going to put my SD cards here. You know, might as well have it all in the bag. Easy access. That is it. She is holding up well. It's quite flipped over to the correct side. And that's that. I like it. I absolutely like it. Speaking of SD, I uh, got this off Amazon as well. You guys are going to start calling me Mr. Amazon. I'll tell you that for a fact. Oh, that's Mr. Amazon. Yeah, I know him. Is a uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigs. 
I'm gonna end up putting that in there. It's got a 95 megabytes per second transfer rate. So I'm gonna put that in there now. Well, I can't do it now. I gotta wait till my batteries charge up. I'm not gonna put the uh, SD cards in the actual bag. Reason being is because this uh, material, it's pretty much dividers. So SD card is just gonna slip underneath and go pretty much anywhere it wants. So it looks like the best possible place for it to go is in here so i would highly recommend if you can you know get some sort of you know enclosure something like a little small storage thing that you can store in here and that way you can place your sd cards in there so that way they don't you know be all everywhere in here so but for the time being i'm putting my sd card in there so this is where my batteries came in so i'm gonna just throw my sd cards in here the batteries it'll be fine pretty much goes like that batteries go here which gives me the perfect place for my SD cards to go here so I can close it up slap it in there BAM I will never have to worry about you know my SD card slide inside the bag nor coming out the bag so every beginner person that wants to get into some type of photography videography everybody's got you know one of these cheap sport cams you know so if you guys want to shoot a you know, a video of somebody, you know, something going on outside and it's wet. You can always have this for emergency. You have to have a sports cam, especially when it comes to like automotive pictures and videos, stuff of that nature. Cause you may want to get some sort of safe fences. You want to attach this to a vehicle and get some drive by, you know, or driving around pictures you know stuff of that nature so you want to have some sort of action cam to do it so that way you know if you change your oils to get on the camera you'll be like look it's a sports cam it'll be fine and with that note with the sports cam all you have to do is and you're good to go say for instance you have a lot or multiple sd cards micro cards you know just put them in a bag and then just put the bag in here and you're good to go it's late and i'm getting ready to wrap up this video so that way i can post this video to my youtube channel so you guys can see it but i just wanted to point out something guys that um since uh making this video this bag has grown it's actually overgrown and i need a new bag and i believe there may be a bigger bag and I somewhat believe that bag that may be somewhat bigger, uh, it's not gonna be big enough. So I'm gonna likely, I'll probably just buy, you know, some sort of um, additional small bag. Um, currently, this small bag is basically being used for batteries. All of my batteries, I got what? Two, four, and one in a camera. That's five batteries. Um, I get, I believe it's roughly four of these batteries uh, for LCD screen um, in the LED lights. So it's roughly, should be four of them in there. Got one uh, car charger to charge up that. That's pretty cool because you can uh, plug it up to the wall or you can plug it into your vehicle. Here, just keep, you know, spare cables and stuff of that nature. But this bad boy here, uh, <laughs> let's see. First thing first is the iPad. That's what we keep. We got our uh, external microphone. Uh, this is a USB charging station, backup camera, uh, our two Canon lens and uh this is a 50 and that's a 35 that's on here and of course our camera so yeah guys it's it's grown still have a uh, sports cam as well as a flathead for our getting our camera attached to um like a uh what do you call it? It's a stand, um, a cage, a camera cage. Uh, basically, I uh, use the flathead to mount the camera to the camera cage. I'll be doing a, you know, 
video on other stuff and showing you a video of me testing these lens to kind of show you what I've experienced, you know. But that's just a you know a little sneak peek. And I'm also probably going to do a video on how to download uh, videos and pictures from SD card to your iPad. So I'll be doing that. Um, inside here is pretty much now where I store all my camera battery uh, docking stations so that's pretty much in there which is very convenient because again this is the power docking station it's a USB power docking station so if I basically put a uh, converter inside my uh, vehicle I can basically charge uh, batteries and lights for my camera um, from the go so it's pretty cool pretty cool so definitely guys it is a necessity to have a camera bag and it will also lead to stuff like this growth <laughs> i'm going to be real it's going to lead to growth you know once you start over something you just continuously to add to it um uh, but guys um just in case anybody was wondering you know why i haven't posted in four days or something of that nature is because I'm kind of bringing back my uh, uh, gamer YouTube page. I've um, been playing Call of Duty. Um, also play American Truck Racing. I uh, also play American Truck Simulator, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Fortnite, stuff of that nature. Oh, let's not forget about Grand Theft Auto uh, 5M. You know, stuff of that nature. So it's going to be posting a lot of game videos on my uh, youtube channel my gaming youtube channel which i'm trying to bring that back to life so don't forget to check it out that's the name of the channel dmv gaming um you can also find it from my channel uh you just basically go down here to dmv gaming and hit that subscribe um you know if you're watching this video and you are not a subscriber please please just you know hit that subscribe button too <laughs> for this channel matter of fact hit hit subscribe for both of my channels i would definitely appreciate it um but yeah the main reason of me basically bringing up my gamer channel is because you know i'm always uh, on the lookout of you know adding uh, viewers to my live streams so you know this would be the perfect opportunity for you guys to you know go live with me when i'm playing the game we'll live stream i'll post it on youtube um you know if you got a youtube channel i'll post your link your link channel in my uh videos so that way you know you can get some visibility and you know we just go from there but anyway guys it's late so let me uh finish knocking this bad boy out so i can get that video out for you guys so just gotta do a little finishing touching and we'll be ready to roll so and with that note guys enjoy <laughs> 